everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Primal Ops. And today, we have done it. I have finally done all missions on easy, all missions on hard. And now, we are finally doing Elite. And let me tell you, uh, Elite is, uh, it, it's pretty tricky. There's a, there's a lot to do. Um, and pretty much if I didn't have Stegosaur, I, I would be done. So we're going <laughs> to quickly claim one Stegosaur DNA, because good lord do we need it. But we're so close ranking up Stegosaur. And once we rank up, like seeing the difference on the dinosaur stats, an epic dinosaur at level 20 is not as good as a level or rank one stegosaur so if that doesn't tell you how good freaking stegosaur really is maybe it's just a really good dinosaur i don't know but we are very close to getting some other ones we are only three dna three dna away from a stiggy moloch unlocking and that i mean already its power is 1684 and i'm assuming maybe that's at level one so you could rank that up even higher we are very close to an allosaur hopefully we'll unlock one of these uh, Baronyx is very close, uh, Cryolophosaurus, uh, Hyungosaur, Pachycephalosaurus, and Eupocephalus are all incredibly close to being unlocked. We'll have a look, uh, because we've got loads of stuff to open, actually, before we start getting into, you know, the, the craziness that is that. Um, so this is one of these Styracosaurus events. Now, every time you open one of these crates, I think you're guaranteed Styracosaurus DNA. It could be one, it could be five. I'm not exactly sure how it works. But there you go, there's two. Also, as well, you get like a fair bit of coins. Now, those are really hard crates to get. Um, like the keys you need for them. However, there is also 325 friggin' Pteranodon. So, I don't even know what we are close to uh, getting Pteranodon level up. I don't think it's that high. But... We're getting, you know, Dimorphodon, we're getting Aerotitan, oh god, I don't even know what that one was, you can probably pause the, the split second that was done, I accidentally clicked on that one through, uh, but really we're, we're probably working towards an Aerotitan, um, and we've only got one epic dinosaur so far, and it's debatable whether it's very good, I don't know who the raptors are, if I'm going to be honest, but we do have it, so we're going to open all of these, I think every time we open up a crate we get like a minuscule amount of XP because we are now ranked 25. Uh, I think we were 23 or 24 in the last one. So we just pushed up. There's one Pteranodon DNA. I gotta admit, I did the Sticky Moloch and I got a fair few when I was opening up all these. I probably had the same amount of crates as I do a Pteranodon. There's another one. But we do need 50 Pteranodon. Um, if that's, if I have zero and I'm pretty sure I will have had some DNA. But I've gotten very lucky with this Stiggy Moloch so far, and I was so hoping that, you know, I could actually get another one or open up a few more uh, Stiggy Moloch crates for this video. But unfortunately, out of all of this, it was like, what, 10, 15, maybe 16 crates? We have got two Pteranodon DNA. Uh, so you can buy? How'd you, how'd you buy? I don't have enough currency for that transaction, so no, there's no way to get those. But we do also have these as well. Uh, we're getting close for the rare crate. We'll open up something. We'll open up these because there is a chance of getting Stiggy Moloch DNA in the common. It's going to be very rare. But we do have five crates worth, please. I just need three. We'll do a regular one. Maybe we'll get epic if we play the whole animation. Or we could just get loads of common DNA. That works too. Yay! <laughs> let's speed up. Oh, and let's do Pro Ceratosaurus DNA. And the final one, you know, we'll let this go all the way through. We'll let this one play out. Let's see what we get here. Come on, something good. Oh, well, it's a rare, and it is a Pachyrhinosaurus, which I think we do actually have. Now, it's not all over, because in the, you know, the epic battles, or those missions, you have a good chance of getting some DNA there. So we also have squads, so we'll just collect some of this. I mean, it's some coin, I suppose. Quickly go into hand list to make sure there's nothing I can upgrade because Jesus, I need a lot like 693. Oh, 693 as well for that one. Is there anything even close? That one is okay. The Uzi's close, booties are not close, gun is not close. Yeah, gun, we need 700 for that. Wait, how much is it for this? Wow, so I've got him actually leveled up a fair bit. He's level 14 on his gun. So, uh, quite a few, 
handler 17% chance isn't that great, is it? Uh, so what I will do is I'll upgrade the handlers again because we are so close to unlocking the arm pad. Now, in the previous update, and previous, previous update, um, we actually already had that unlocked. So now we have it unlocked proper. Um, and it's 27%. So we get a damage bonus for Stegosaur companions, Dilophosaur companions, and Pteranodon companions. So the Stegosaur is going to be even better now. Which is a brilliant. Let's go into the super hard missions. Um, so our best dino. Um, really, we would like to have a flyer. But I don't know if Demorphodon is really that good. Uh, or if I have it leveled up that good. I can probably get it level 20. Which is the... It's not... I guess we could level it up by 179. I, I don't know how good the Morphodon really is though. But you know what? Sod it. There you go. Rank 5 for that. 20 more of those. Let's get all the way to level 20. And it is nowhere near. Okay, it's 650 in comparison to an 890. <laughs> but we does have an... Like, it's, it's damage. That was a little bit delayed, wasn't it? Uh, we got a quest. Oh, two DNA for leveling up a dinosaur. Sweet. And so you... Every time... So a week. Once a week, you could probably get the Stegosaur DNA. Okay, so... And we are... Seven away. Seven weeks. But, saying that... There is still a chance if we do... Well, we can't do the prologue to get to. Uh, we need to complete level 6 and level 9. Now, I already did those in the other one, but it glitched out and it wouldn't give me them. So, 2, 4, 6. So, if I somehow manage to, you know, find the prologue and complete that, um, it could only... Maybe a week's time I could have a Stegosaur rank 2. But that's probably not gonna happen. So... Let's see what all the hubbub is about in these elite missions. So, uh, this one isn't giving us any specific DNA, which is a bit sucky. Because they have been giving some very good DNA. Um, because I'm kind of curious, like, I've played through this game basically twice now. And I only have one freaking legendary. So, for me, I feel like this game is being a bit stingy. When it comes to its other stuff. So we don't want to put him in. We want to... Oh, we could level up Antarctica Pelta here. Because now we're doing against Kaspersky. We're doing against the Antivirus. Uh, but we could level up you. A fair bit. So we could get you all the way to level 30. And now you'll not only be a lot stronger. Um, so what's this? A 50% chance to apply slow. 50% chance bonus against gunner enemies. And 100% extra damage to Kaspersky. So that's way better. Uh, so we've also got, I think, some more DNA as well. Yay! And then we'll be like, two more DNA or two more levels up. And we'll get two more DNA, sweet! So we'll switch out um, those two for these two. So they've got 100% extra bonus damage against uh, Kaspersky. So actually, the, um, the Hamalocephaly does more damage... Then the Stegosaur does, which is very interesting. Okay, so because they've, they've both got the extra damage. I don't. I don't know if anybody does extra damage against them. No, they're all even. It used to be in the last update, or in the first the first time the game came out, that certain hunters were better against other, uh, like, dinosaur wranglers. So, we should be in with a good stead. We've leveled up a handler twice. Let's bring in Hamalo Cephalus, see how good it does. Oh, and it missed. Brilliant. <laughs> and it's already dead, I think. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, yep. Oh, Malocephalus is there. That's great. Antarctica Pelter. Be the meat shield I need. Go on. You, well, uh, do something. Good Lord, do something. What are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep. Antarctica Pelter is, is doing literally nothing. It is just walking around. Oh, Malocephalus is doing the, the work here. Oh, oh, there you go. You did nothing. Thank you, Antarctic Pelter. We'll lure him back into the Stegosaur. Boom, yes. So apparently the Homalocephalus does more damage than that, but I, I really find that hard to believe. I think the Stegosaur hits multiple times. There you go. Oh, and bam, yeah. Oh, they're really good. I should just save all of my uh, stamina for those guys. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh no, no, no. Hide behind. We got two baton stickies. Bring the Hamalocephaly in. Where are you? Yeah, he jumped. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Got him. Right, Stegosaur turned into a supply crate. That's brilliant. Oh, God. Oh, no, oh, Jesus. Oh, God, that's a lot of health. 
That was unfortunate. He really got me trapped between a rock and a hard place. Oh, Jesus, I didn't even realize he wasn't dead. It's a lot of energy to waste if I die, man. Oh, yep. Bring an Antarctic pelt and those guys. I don't even know if they're going to do anything. Oh, I'll take the health. Yep, I'll take that. I have run out of stamina as well. Not so good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, Stego, I need you. I need you, baby. There it is. There it is. Okay, good. Homalocephale, go in and break it up. See, I do nothing to them. Like, literally not. Like, look at this, man. <laughs> nothing. It's, it's literally only Stegosaur that can do something against them. When you get up to chapter 9, I can only imagine the amount of uh, damage that Stego is going to do. It's literally nothing. All this guy does is... Just, look at that. Like, these do 100% extra damage. And they barely do anything to them. You need Stegosaur. My god. Whew, okay, it's not looking so bad. It's not looking so bad. I've probably only got two more bits to go. That's good. There's only two guys here. Stegosaur's doing a little bit of a moonwalk. Getting back here. That's fine. He's, he's hitting the wrong way. I don't know where he's facing, but I think he actually did get some hits in there. Good, good. Yep, yep. A baton guy who I'm trying to target. There you go. Get him in the crossfire. Crossfire. Oh, God. Yep, we're all this way. There's two of them. Yeah, look, look, I don't do anything to him, man. Literally nothing. At level 61, for God's sake. I do nothing. I played this game twice through and still nothing. I can't imagine what this game would have been like if I hadn't had, you know, Stegosaur already unlocked or, you know, already ranked up to the rank I was because it's like, I feel like this game still needs a little bit of a balance because that is too much. That is too much. Uh, level difference here. I've, I've been lucky enough to kind of just glide through it, but in a way where it's still fun. This, however, like now is super hard, and I can only imagine that it's like this for regular players that haven't been able to, uh, you know, play the game twice over. There we go. That's good. That's good. We've got uh, another sniper dude, and... Oh, oh, yes. I think that's it. Just this one dude. And down it goes. What, what are we even helping out here? I don't even know. Oh, it's an Allosaurus. Brilliant. Mission completed. Lovely Allosaur. Now, will we get a decent amount of coin? I don't think we're going to get any DNA. I don't think it showed us getting any DNA. But we're very close to Allosaurus. Very close. Now, normally I'd probably like watch an advert just because I, I realized I'm... My coinage isn't doing too great. And especially when you're let, like, things get a higher level, it takes even longer. So it was 14. And we need a patchy cephalosaurus and for it to be rank 2 in order to do this mission? What? Um. Excuse me? You, you didn't give, you gave me a, a, the patchy cephalosaurus. Like a couple of missions ago, it gave me this. Like, well, it gave me, a, you know, 20 or 25 DNA towards it. But then it just never unlocked it. The same with the Alistair. It was like, so close, but not quite. Oh, okay. So I can actually do it. Right, 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 right. So I haven't been grinding to get as 20? What? It's 20. Oh, okay. It's glad well, at least there is a way to farm. I was thinking, well, I'm stuck. Until I get some Stiggy Moloch um, event, and then I can just maybe open it. Right, so that's not so bad. I was like, uh, there's, there's no way for me to do this. Thank you, game. <laughs> so Apache Cephalosaurus. Now, I better get more than one. Come on. For 20. I don't think this is going to be too hard, man. If I get hit one more time, I'm done. I'm done! No way to get away. If you try and hide behind a building, it goes mm, straight away like cuts around the corner. So I probably should have put the Stego in first. I underestimated its power. This is hard, by the way. Man, this game needs a balance. Yeah, I thought it was, I was pretty happy with the way it was, but as soon as I hit epic, like difficulty, nah, it's, it's, and the fact is I haven't unlocked a new dinosaur in so long. And I've went through the game like twice. Right, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, that's good, that's good. Yep, keep hitting it, keep hitting it. Right, I'm gonna try and hide behind this wall. Oh, oh, we're getting way luckier now. We're getting some good stuns. And it's done, okay. Sweet, I don't know why it gives me health. It's like the last thing you kill anyway. The thing is, yes, we got one DNA there. 
and we need maybe like five so it's possible that it could do it because i think you can get more than one so dfw contract Whoa, what's that what did i do what did i do oh okay these ones oh fair enough i don't think they do anything in particular um so if we go back into dinosaurs we look at pachycephalosaurus it is not you you are loud though so we need six more so and <laughs> we need to at least get a couple more so it's gonna cost us 20 to fill up with 30 really and then it goes up even more good god so we've got three shots here um i think we got unlucky with that one i was probably stupid <laughs> i got it four times and my dinosaurs were just dancing around not really doing much and i can't do much i don't do any damage there's no way to get health good news is that at least with this mission you're straight with the boss there's no faffing around with other like ooh, kill them and then eventually hit the boss so there we go there we go and probably should have waited you see what i mean like there's no way to get away from that like what am i supposed to do here and why is it lagging like oh crazy All right so i'm gonna hide hide around this Aha. jesus okay we are lagging like crazy as well i don't even know where it is i can only take like two more hits oh i love when it glitches through the trees that's fair <laughs> Well then, at least we did it, but good god, it almost cost the game. It was breaking. Don't know what I did there. Fingers crossed. We got more than one DNA there. How much did we get? Ah, one DNA. Game being stingy as ever. Sweet. Okay, we can do that a couple more times. Right, that's the only thing to do. Oh, and I can't even dodge out of the way. Okay, we're going to have to play Ring Around of Rosies. And hopefully, yep, as long as it doesn't get a line of sight on you, we're good. Yes! This is how we do it! Yes! Get him! Yes! Just hide! Be a coward! <laughs> Will the game be stingy and just give you one every time? It can't be. Surely. Like, the thing is, the game hasn't even given me enough DNA, playing through it twice, by the way, to unlock the Pachycephalosaurus, let alone get it to rank two in order to, you know, go and progress through the missions. Okay, I think I need three. If, I mean, so far we've done three or four battles with this, and each time we've only gotten one. And I need three from this one. It looks like they're probably not going to give you three DNA, but you know what? Maybe. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, 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 I didn't even see it. Yes. And it doesn't even know where I am. That's brilliant. Hide behind the rock. Yes, like a true coward. <laughs> oh, there you are. Hello. And you're dead. Thank you. Sweet. The thing is, though, even, like I said, playing through the game twice and whatever, I only have 54 max capacity for batteries. And I'm rank God knows whatever. And really, I could have been higher if I never leveled up my dinosaurs. Because um, I think that, oh, and, and of course, one DNA. Sweet. So I think I'm two off. Um, and I'm not spending, like, how much is it to get 30 battery? It'll be like 60 DNA now or something ridiculous. It is 60 DNA. And I can only do one more battle. And I'm probably only going to get one more DNA. And I am now... Th oh, I'm three off. Never mind. Not two. So, this will probably be the last video I make on Primal Ops until maybe it's fully released. I can't imagine really doing anymore because I can't progress the mission because it's broken. Uh, well done on testing that. <laughs> um, and it's, I don't think really I'm gonna unlock anything. And even if I do unlock anything, I can't progress, so I can't do anything. So it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter video today, but hopefully you still enjoyed it. It's funny seeing me get annoyed, isn't it? It's fine, you got me a fool. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like and check out all the other videos we have on the channel. We have like over a thousand of them, and like 2,000? God knows. Until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye.